Well, California is diverse, as I pointed out earlier. We are a state that's nearly 40% Latino, 38% Caucasian, 15% uh, Asian American, 6.5% African American. Uh, so we have people who come from all across the globe, but they have a dream. They want to make sure that they have the best opportunities possible and that their families have the best opportunity possible. And so when the administration back in Washington, D.C., talks about putting up a wall with Mexico or imposing greater tariffs, we say, whoa, let's talk about this, right? Because we have uh, incredible international dynamism. We have people who are engaged throughout the world, whether it's in Europe, uh, Africa, Africa, Asia, South America. And so we say, you know, this, let, let it work for us. Let us handle California. And we want to provide leadership uh, for America that's going to look very different. We have an economic policy that is thriving, so let California be California. Yeah, on climate change, you've certainly sent that message to the Hill, loud and clear, uh, and you're working with China more closely on green policies. Tell us more. Yes, California has 500,000 jobs tied to clean and green energies. As I pointed earlier, I'm pushing for green bonds because our roads have to look different, our waterways have to look different. We know that there's incredible climate disruption, right? Why the weather patterns are different. Yeah, so that's why I was pushing green bonds. We're going to have to come up with our own and different ideas. And uh, because China's doing it, Europe's doing it, uh, America certainly ought to have those same opportunities as others. And we understand that this is an international capital market. So right, it just doesn't have to be Californians who are buying California green bonds. If others are interested, we certainly want to encourage uh, those types of investments in California. So as you said, California, if you were a country, would be the sixth largest economy in the world. Its finances are healthy, but it does have issues like housing shortage, very high cost of living, and also crumbling infrastructure. So what would be your package to fix all that if you become governor? Yeah, that's exactly correct. So when I was a state controller in my previous position before today as the state treasurer, I worked and identified over $9.5 billion of abuse, waste, and fraud. So we're going to find and use California's hard-earned taxpayer dollars far more effectively and efficiently. And so that's what you can do to try to help finance infrastructure. Like you're doing here in China and as they're doing in Asia uh, and elsewhere in Asia and Europe, uh, they're working more on green bonds, building cleaner, greener infrastructure. I'm proposing the same thing for California. I want to make sure that not only California do does it, but also the United States of America. So over the last year, I've been doing an international or a national tour. We're going to put together an international conference next year, asking people from throughout the globe to join us. And so that's the way we can help uh, promote a stronger environment, a stronger economy for California and America. I've also led the efforts in regards to financing affordable housing in California. I chair two of the largest housing uh, authorities for the state in regards to tax credits. And so as a state treasurer, I pushed out 80% more financing. Uh, that led to 80% more housing construction in the affordable housing space. So I have the record. I can demonstrate that I've done it, and I don't have to make those promises. I'll just show that I've done it, and I can establish a track record and a promise of how uh, Californians can do it in the future.